All right, welcome to Pekino Stalemate again. And, well, it's Deutsche Afrika Corps again versus America. Man, they have risen a lot in popularity. Anywho, we have Mr. Dumais playing as the Dak Dak Attack. Havoc as the Americans here. And Dumay has gone for the Basilieri squads, Italian infantry, or Italian combined arms. Also, funny how this is, battle group is con called Italian combined arms, and the tree is called combined arms. <sighs> All right. Uh, capping order. Yeah, immediately rushes this thing here. As you can see, you can get over to your opponent's fuel in a jiffy. Who fired the flare? Did he? Did Havoc upgrade? He did. He actually upgraded them. With smoke this early? What big brain play is he up to here? Um, if I were to guess, we then it is because he, no, no, I don't know why he actually went with early smoke. Sure, it came handy right here. I could understand it if he were up against uh, Wehrmacht, who can rush this, these buildings here or that building. And then you deploy the smoke to block the view, to protect your own fuel point. But here... I just don't know. I don't know what uh, big brain play that Havoc did there. Well, we saw it, but the reason behind it. Why did he do it? Why did he do it? Why is he re-engaging here? Why? Why did he poke? Why didn't he just cap and stay in green cover? Oh boy, that cost a lot. Well, get into cover, boys. Return fire. Green cover gaming. Enemy forces have captured a victory point. Yeah, one man down. Next target going down. More Panzerjägers coming on in. And uh, here is Havoc. The only reason why he's taking this engagement here is because he's got help on the way. Coming in hot on the flank. And Dumay, he also wanted that engagement because he had the flamethrower on the way. But with the arrival of the flanking riflemen here, the dynamics of the engagement has most certainly changed. And now uh, Dumay has to make a defensive play for his fuel. So it has to be this fuel here <laughs> and he's actually going over there by the way this garrison here not a garrison you can't enter the building windows been boarded up doors blocked and none of your men know parkour in order to scale the walls and get in one of the top windows have no fear help is on the way the retreat paths should be fine for these men. Lots of vision on the back way down. Yeah, over here though, the Kratschutzen have found itself an enemy. How many windows can return fire here? One, two, three. Oh, wing throw. Now oh, that's fun. You'll get your blessings another day. The victory point is being taken from us. Four riflemen. Combined arms to secure territory with ease. Four riflemen. This. And the motor pool. Then into the motor pool. Right? Victory point lost. All right. Just taking mental notes here. Has 
and to me, to me. Mm, Ghost Rider. Very important pick here for Havoc. Severely limiting the maze capping power. I like this building here. I like it a lot. <sighs> you know, the thing is, that if you're having a heavy machine gun in here, trying to push your opponent's fuel, it will cover this fuel point and a slight bit of... Uh, the entrance way into the uh, town square. The territory sector has been claimed by the enemy. I learned that today. Huh? And I was on the receiving end of the heavy machine gun. We have vehicles available in reserve. Captain leading the men. Proximity alarm. MG 34 and crew standing by. Trouble was indeed on its way. A little preemptive smoke there. Because why not? We have been cut off. Reestablish a connection. Starting requisition of light support elements. Nice. See, if uh, Dumay had A moved his heavy machine gun, that wouldn't have happened. I'm just saying that to tilt Dumay or get him on edge. Eh? <laughs> May is still awesome. Research complete. Superior support weapons are available. Greyhound followed by the medical station. Yep. Really gotta rush your early vehicles nowadays. Oh, that boom. Yay. Fireworks. Gibbs. By the way, uh, yeah, Havoc. He went armor. Yeah. He did, in fact, go armor. Skip the jeep though. Yeah, a bit one infantry here. Did he go down? Path, fast deploy, recover the vehicle. He's heading down to uh, Allied War Machine, which will reduce the cost of his stock vehicles, at least in terms of manpower. Oh, a misplay here from Havoc. Oh man, this is gonna be tough to come back from. And now he just got the engineer. Oh well. I must say that the uh, the timing of the Panzerjägers there must have surprised. Havoc because it was about to be the nine minute mark when they showed up and you usually get access to them at the six minute mark so maybe um, Havoc was thinking like all right he hasn't bothered to call in the units uh, let's dive and then in a freak coincidence they just happened to show up at the at the right time Not gonna bother with the uh, the Brera. All oh, right, yeah, well, that thing's more changed to something weird. Now you can really only have one Brera. Get it loaded. Ready, willing, and able. The enemy has taken a victory point. Yeah, you guys can take that building, sure. And wait. Sprint away! <laughs> can still reach? Really? In. Flame for is over here now. Keep your distance to the church. If you go near it, you'll get burned. 
though not by its holy properties it's actually by gas and flame combined Machine gun. Mm -hmm. Now goes for the munition surplus to get the cheaper bars. <sighs> Is it really necessary to go for munition surplus when you're going armor? Doesn't have uh, field repairs. He has to recover the vehicle. So the only possible munition sink that he has in his battle group is he could destroy that's the thing since the patch munition surplus no longer gives you faster infantry ability cooldowns that thing belongs to infantry survival now Now he goes for a mortar. Well, then again, there are two heavy machine guns on the field, so I understand completely. Dumay doing here? He's going for a very infantry heavy build. Uh, whereas Relic intends the deck to be a more vehicle focused build. So Dumay here being a rebel. Nice setup here covering a uh, part of the flank too. Yeah, no suppression, but heavy machine gun does a little bit of chip damage and the captain just arrived. Yep, there he is. Kaboom, baby! A sufficiently quick reaction here from Dumay. Gets his um, heavy machine gun out of harm's way and he sprints past it. Well done, Havoc here. Getting the jump on the heavy machine gun with a little bit of flanking speed. available for call-in for Dumay. Still no uh, further check. Oh, he actually calls in a leak. Well, it's another garrison clearing tool. He already had the flamethrower. Then over time, the uh, boys, uh, well, the Panzer books uh, <laughs> will become great anti-garrison clearing tools. Terms of condition may apply, and what are those terms of conditions? Well, that would be that the garrison has very low HP. Then, a shot from an AG rifle is can be enough to bring the house to a crumble. But, uh, if the house is that low health, there's you have no business. No business going inside of it. Anyway. Alright. How will 
Havoc get out of this one. He's pinned. Any help on the way? Uh, not really. The squad here wanted to go in. And again, there's another heavy machine gun there. A little bit of smoke, but... Oh, man, they're so low HP here. They're just gonna drop like flies. Like flies, I'm telling you. And they are going in, but for... Why? They won't be able to get the decap here in time, and... Yeah, now they uh, now he risked losing the squad here. Uh, they have very low HP. I saw that the grenades were on the yeah grenades were on the way, so probably wanted to grenade that thing. But an ambitious play that cost him a rifle squad, and the 250 gets away. I see you. Greta Smithers. Here we have Elven Eyes. You can see far whenever the 250 is near. Remember to open your eyes fully when engaged by the enemy, said the 250 and left. Which meant that the troops here promptly forgot <laughs> that they were supposed to have their eyes wide open. could activate healing on the uh 250 unless it's on cooldown but i haven't seen him use the, the med kits what's the score we have a tank depot for havoc and the panzer command i yoink up and running Uh, retreat that no help for them um defense is fuel and oh yeah the leak i love the leak uh, sound big booms that offensive free it is Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, just touching it. Trying to lure Dume over here. Oh, Dume! I'm in your camping circle. Come and get me. I'm stealing your fuel. Dume is not falling for it. Or is he? Oh, he's going in there and now they're no longer cloaked, so. Meh. All right, heavy machine gun in here to cover the point. Very good. But airburst shell. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Yes, airburst shell actually doing significant damage, killing models. And by some freak accident, a mine blew up here, meaning that the tons of free didn't get engine damage. How quaint. Why did you make go for pack of steel? Man, that's uh, that's the sound of a very bad joke. And the missing punchline. I mean, sure, if he were actually planning on going, going light vehicles, sure. Um, and he'll be up against what? Hellcats? So he doesn't need otters. Um, all right. The easy eight. Gotcha. Modders, easy eight. That would make sense. Or, well, while we wait for the easy eight, there is a regular Sherman on the field. Panzer Free should be able to deal with that without the need of modders, but then again. An extra martyr wouldn't be so bad. And hello, survival training. 
has to cool down on the infantry which would then also be what the barrage maybe captain the advantage is ours I kind of want to test that after the game here just to see if the, the mortar barrages get a 25% reduction. That would definitely be helpful when you're up against, say, Wehrmacht. That goes lots of heavy machine guns. <laughs> I knew that you knew that I knew that you knew that I would not rush up to the haystack. Is that a mine they hit? Probably. Why else would they be suppressed? Cuts mm, freeze! In danger! But uh, Sherman oh, gives a little uh, if you in return to the Panzerjägers. That's what they get for throwing the tear gas. They get the white phosphorus, baby. A fuel point is being taken from us. Proximity alarm near our victory point. Super duper do. The enemy have claimed our sector. Yeah, repairs, they can wait. You may would get another Panzer free. Okay. Okie dokie, okie. Do you have any armory upgrades? Let's have a quick look. Armory written to squad leaders. All right. And looking at his popcat here is actually looking pretty good. Pretty good. One more point needed for the EC8. So the question is now, should the mate go for armory upgrades or should he begin to get a martyr out to help deal with the EC8? Armory upgrades could also include the toxin core ammo. Ooh. But I think we can't forget everything about the uh, armory upgrades. If he loses a tank here. Nope. They alive. They are alive. No, yeah, I bet he wished that he had the uh, emergency field repairs. Not that he could stand still and get the engine repaired long enough unless he managed to actually distract this thing here, but nope. Sherman moves on. There are Panzerjäger there to shield the pre free. There are repair nearby. All right. Pretty good. And there we are. Oh no, he's going for advanced field repairs. If my if I understood correct, then this thing here increased the global repair rate of squad globally of all infantry. Yeah, that's what I thought. All our infantry. I had heard someone say that it only affects Panzer Pioneers. But according to the tooltip, it should actually also apply to well, as it said all infantry the enemy has lowered our victory points to 200 uh, oh dear Proximity why alarm, oh, oh, is this is this a case where the uh, server dropped the order because it happens so often you you shift queue up an order and then suddenly they just abandoned the first order to move over to, well, the next thing. Uh, and it can be so infuriating to deal with. Uh, 
Territory lost. Our munitions point is being neutralized by the enemy. The capture point is being taken from us. Yeah, so repair still on the way here. It's it's fast, but then again, I would expect it to be fast regardless because it's two squads repairing. Then again, they only have rudimentary repairs. Okay, emergency field repairs. That's what I want to see. And after that, I want to see pictures of Spider-Man. Well, my butt. I want to see Boxton Core Ammo. Will definitely give this Panzer III the edge versus uh, the regular Sherman. Need help here. Help! Back. Havoc with the stolen MG. That's great. Meanwhile, over here. Oh, this is slaughter! And he gets a wave. Or does he? Panzer III's are going in. He's gonna get two for nothing here. Oh, he lost his Panzer Grenadiers over at the half track. But we'll keep our eyes on this tank battle. Kaboom, baby. And as you can see over here, the Jaegers are no more. And that's an EC8. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Going in, he wants that snare off. Going. Have a sock. Crew's been shocked, but the EC8 is having difficulties passing out of the base, meaning that it just couldn't be there in time. Takes it down. Yeah, we should come down. And we arrived just in time to see the 250 go up in flames. Lock and load, dudes. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. Proximity alarm near our victory point. Demo package. All right. Pretty good. The enemy have claimed our sector. We have lost control of the victory point. Yeah, this is a pretty close match when we look at the VPs. Also at the armor compositions. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, Dumay's heavy machine gun. You can take it back if he wants to. Or if the EC8 will allow him, but... Hansjegers may just be able to get it. Bolster's the front line! 100 points remain! We're losing grasp of a munitions point. Orders incoming. Waiting on you, Mo.
Here we go. Easy eight here. Uh, yeah. He's gonna be sitting there. Guarding the VP. Oh, these facilities here. Actually taking damage from grease guns. How humiliating. <sighs> Alright, now I can return fire. Set your feathers to stun. No, wait, kill. Easy eight, easy eight. Rocking dead, easy eight. Man, the war here has really opened up the town square. So much room for entertainment. Oh, just as he got his uh, heavy machine gun back. Uh. All right, to me. Let's see some of that deck late game strength. You're down to 51 points. And there's now a Hellcat on the field. Uh, there. There we go. I'm coming for you! Yeah, I could call in a pack. Or he could not. Alternatively, he could invest into the uh, fuel package. Getting his Panzer Freeze up to 720. Man, hit points. Plus, they get smoke, both smoke launchers and smoke canisters. A little bit of extra HP would do good when you're up against the tank destroyer. Where's the help? There's no help, only flames and fire. Oh, and the Hellcat. He's a thirsty boy. He wants more. Twenty nine to me. Stay in the circle. Better keep his panzers alive. He cannot continue to lose them. Uh, as his army does not have the upper hand, both in composition or VPs. There's a grenade waiting to happen in this engagement here. Yep, there they go. One. It's gonna be good. Both Panzer Freeze is still alive. Here it comes. Attack round happening. No, no attack round. Machine gun down on the BP there. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, Hellcat down. But the new one is already in production. And yeah, this heavy machine gun dead. As it were, defending that point. Eat lead from above, Captain. Oh, they're right on your tail. Uh oh. Now don't go inside. Oh, this building here. Yeah, no! Okay. I thought the EC8 would have destroyed it. Uh, but now the EC8 gets to. Yeah. Burn him. Oh, man. Standing there in the white phosphorus. Chewing into that hill. Yeah. On the point. Nope. Too low HP. Backing out. But 
That was the economical thing to do. Sadly, I don't think he'll ever get the chance to get back on a VP again. Never mind, he's bringing that thing over there. Yeah. Boom. Dead. Hopes and dreams. Gone. Probably. Probably. All the maze, medium armor. Well, all but light armor has been destroyed. Havoc will resecure the VPs while blowing up his Hellcat. <laughs> Oh, goodbye. Oh, yeah, get on that point. Take it. All right. The mate, if he could, he would probably press the surrender button. If Relic had implemented it. We're losing grasp of the munitions point. Ay, ay, ay. Bravery. Stubbornness? No, there's the GG to me. Frozen Tao acknowledges his defeat. And the AI calls in a Carro Amaro. Well, who knows? Maybe that uh, AI was onto something. Phew, what a hectic match there. Non stop action. Leave a like if you like that action. Leave a dislike if you disliked it, but I doubt you did. Consider subscribing for more. Until next time, you wonderful people. Bye.